Good evening everybody. So in today's video I'm doing another Wii U episode and we're going to be talking about how you can load backup games directly from a USB drive rather than the SD card which is what the first exploit allowed us to do. So this method will actually let you store numerous games on a USB drive or you can install them directly to your Wii U console and then play them. Main benefits of this is there's more room on a USB drive typically so you can get more games on there. A lot of people don't have really big SD cards, so yeah, that's the main advantage I can think of for USB loading. This method is known as the Brazilian method. It's become a lot more stable and better documented in the past few weeks, so I feel now's the perfect time to release a video for it, show you guys what it's all about. Okay, so to get started, we'll need to head to the computer. You'll need to check the video description and download something called UTIC Download Helper. So go ahead and get that download started and let's move to the computer and I'll show you guys what you need to do. So this is the file that we're getting you to download, utickdownloadhelper.exe. Once you have it, just go ahead and run it. Now before you can use it, it asks you to answer this question. You have to click basically anywhere on the screen and then it asks you what is the address of this website, the Wii U title key database. The answer to that question is wiiu.titlekeys.com. I'll put that in the description so you can copy paste it if you want. Once you solve that question, you get access to download any of the games, basically. So first thing I recommend you do, once the program's loaded up like this, choose your region. Now loading the other exploit in my other video, that was region free. But the Brazilian USB method is not region free. So you need to pick your console's region. For me, it's Europe. And it's very important that you only install games from your region. If you download something from the internet, you're not sure what region it is, do not install it. I've heard reports of people bricking their consoles for installing the wrong region games. So guys, I'm going to repeat that. Make sure you only install games from your region. So in this video, I've decided to download Pikmin 3. So this program lets you select a game from your region, and then you just click Download Selected. When you do that, it's going to pop up asking you to select a folder. Now again, this is important, you need to create a blank folder. So if I just make a folder here, I'll call it Pikmin 3. Sorry, it needs to be an empty folder. Uh, so sorry, I'll do this again. If we go Pikmin 3, download selected. Now when it asks me for a folder, I've got on the desktop. Pikmin 3, OK. So when it detects a empty folder, you'll see a screen like this come up. This is it downloading the game directly from Nintendo servers. So depending on the size of your game, this will take a while. But uh, yeah, you'll need to select the games you want to install through this method because you can't use the loading dumps. It has to be in this particular format to install the games. So we'll let this download now and I'll update you guys when it's finished. Alright, so my download's just finished. You can see in the Pikmin folder now, it's a 3.85 gigabyte game. So, once you've downloaded the games you want to install, and you do need to install them one at a time, by the way, go ahead and power up your console. It's now time to format your USB drive if you intend to use one. So I'll show you guys how to do that now. So back on the Wii U, you'll need to power your console off if it's turned on, and then while your Wii U console is turned off, just go ahead and insert a USB drive if you intend on installing to USB. If you just want to use your internal system memory, you can skip this entire step. So when you power your Wii U back on with a USB drive, you'll see the screen that I'm seeing now, which says you've connected a USB storage device that's not been set up for use with this console. Do you want to format the device so that it can be used with this console? When this happens, guys, choose format. Now this is important, it's going to delete everything off your attached USB drive or flash drive. Um, no amount of fancy partitioning will save you from this step. The Wii U uses its own proprietary method of formatting and it wipes the entire drive. Everything will be deleted from the drive. So make sure that you're using a drive that uh, yeah, you really want to use with your Wii U. Side note, you can't use the same drive for virtual Wii hacking. So the stuff that you do Wii exploits on, you can't use that with your Wii U side of things. Once you're ready guys, just go ahead and click on Format and it will start to prepare your drive. 
So there we go, my flash drive has now been formatted, which means I can actually install games to it now. Complete. So once you have your USB drive formatted, switch back to the computer. You'll need to power your Wii U console off and remove the SD card. Once that's done, plug the SD card into your computer. And in the video description, there is another download, a second download link called WAP Installer YMOD. Download that file and you'll see it looks like this or similar to it. It's a compressed file. So you need to open that up on your computer. And within there, you'll see there's a Wii U folder and then an apps folder. And then there's a WAP Installer folder. So I'm just going to pull out this WAP Installer folder, extract that, close the zip file. Now on the actual SD card, go ahead and open that up on your computer. Um, here's mine here. Now we need to put it in to the Wii U folder and then the apps folder. This is where we need to cut and paste this WUP installer. Needs to be placed inside the Wii U apps folder on your SD card. Now also, back on your SD card, make a new folder, and it has to be called install, like that. So make an install folder in the root of your SD card. Now back at the start of the video, you remember I downloaded this game. So what we have to do, you can only install one game at a time using this method. You can install, you know, 10 or 20 games on the same hard drive. What I'm saying is you can't install 20 games at once. You'll have to install one game at a time on your hard drive. So for me, I'm going to install Pikmin first. So I'll need to come into this Pikmin folder. So I'll need to select all these files. I'll cut all these files. And then I'm going to paste them into our new install folder on the SD card. So this will take a little while sending everything from your computer to the SD card. All right, so I can see those files have finished copying across. I'll go ahead and delete my empty Pikmin folder. And at this point, we're done with the SD card. So you can go ahead and eject that from your system. And go ahead and put the SD card back into the Wii U and power it back on. Okay, so with the SD card back in the Wii U, you can power it back on. When the console's loaded back up, Go ahead and start up the web browser. We're going to be running the homebrew exploit through the web browser again. So I'm accessing the website through my bookmarks. Lodeen.ovh. You guys should be familiar with this process, but if you're not, you can watch some of my older videos. So I'm going to go ahead and start the homebrew launcher now, and this is happening on my Wii U gamepad. Excellent. So I'm in the homebrew launcher here now, and on my second screen of homebrew, you can see I've got the WAP installer. This is what we just moved into the apps folder. So I'm going to go ahead and start this software up by selecting it, pushing load. Here we are. Now you can see it says select install folder, and it's selected install, which is the folder we moved the game to. We're going to leave that because that's good. Now the real choice we want to look at here is... Press A button to install title to system memory and press X button to install the title to USB storage. Now there is a bit of a safety step here. You remember I was talking about brick warnings and stuff before. When you're first installing a game, so it's untested at that point, we do recommend you install to your USB storage first. That's just a bit of a safety precaution. If you know the game's good and you'd like to install it on your system memory, then go ahead. But it is just a bit of a safety check. It's less risky to install it to your USB storage first. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to push X on my controller and I'm going to install Pikmin to my USB storage, which is nicely formatted for the Wii U now. Here goes. So you'll see this progress bar eventually comes up. And it's moving through quite quickly. So we'll fast forward ahead for when it's just about to finish. Great, so this install's just finishing up here now. All done. 
So when your game's finished installing, just push the home button to return back to the homebrew launcher. And again, push the home button to close out of the homebrew launcher. So when you come through to Me Maker, you can just push home again. And close the software. So that's brought us back to the main Wii U home menu. And if you look at your gamepad now and cycle back to the first screen, you should be able to find the game that you've just installed is now on the system. So if I go ahead and select the game now, Okay, so my games recognize there's an update available, uh, but I have the Nintendo update servers blocked with my DNS settings, so it can't update it. Uh, that's fine, I'm just going to click start to start the software without updating it. As you can see, the game's now loading, it's created save data, and the game has started successfully. So this is a game running successfully from a USB drive. That's something completely new and very cool that's just been unlocked on Wii U consoles. So another very cool thing is if I quit out of my game here now, the next thing I'm going to do is power cycle my console. I'm going to switch it back on and I'm just going to try running the game again. So what this is a test of is can the game run without going into the browser and starting homebrew that way. That was always a limitation of Lodeen as you had to go through the browser, start homebrew and then games would work until you turned the console back off. With this method I believe the game's going to work just straight up when I turn the system on so let's go ahead and show that off as well okay so I've just turned my Wii U back on and I'm going to launch the game that I installed again go ahead and starting my game without updating and look at that the game is loading right up straight after turning the system on very cool so as you can see guys games will now load from USB drive straight after turning your system on that's seriously cool so just some notes for you guys, uh, the maximum size of a hard drive that the Wii U can actually read is 2 terabyte. So if you use a 3 or 4 terabyte drive, it will let you use it, but it will only be able to write to 2 terabytes of it, and the other 1 terabyte or 2 terabytes will just be wasted space you can't use on anything. Once again, remember the Wii U uses its own special format for the hard drive, so the hard drive you use on your Wii U it's going to be useless on everything except for the Wii U. So I'd recommend maybe the perfect size would be about 500 gigabytes. To be honest, there's not that many games on the Wii U. You could probably get the entire system library installed on a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I would imagine it would fit. And a note about game updates. If, like my game, your game comes up saying it needs to update, it's actually perfectly safe to go ahead and update the game from the Wii U. Only reason mine couldn't is because I've forcefully blocked the Nintendo servers just to prevent my system from running a firmware update in the future. So once you've installed a game guys, you're welcome to use the program again like we did in step 1 and download another game and go ahead and install a second game. The trick is you just have to install them one at a time. I hope this video has helped some of you guys. Just to recap, we can now install Wii U game backups to USB drives, to the system itself, to the SD card using the original exploit, and we can now run games straight after turning the console on without running any homebrew before that. Very cool and pretty simple too. So enjoy being able to run games from USB on your Wii U guys. If you have any questions just let me know in comments. I have some more Wii U content coming up in the next few weeks. I'm going to be doing a full virtual Wii hacking tutorial which shows you how you can hack the V Wii inside your Wii U and run GameCube and Wii ISOs through that basically using software called Nintendon't. I'll also be doing a follow up to my Wii U emulator video showing the total number of systems that end up working quite nicely on the Wii U itself. Check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Alright guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and stay tuned for future uploads from me. Peace.